So, uh, you know, obviously been a minute since we got to talk to you. Kind of tell us, uh, how's the off season been? Obviously getting settled here. How's it all been going for you? It's been good. You know, the kids went home over break. Um, hopefully they did what they were supposed to do, but you never know when you get that type of situation. Uh, but came back, been able to get some practice in, started official practice uh, last week. So just kind of getting them going. And again, just really working on getting their minds in the right place, getting them to understand that our success is going to be based on the idea of us playing fundamentally sound. Mm -hmm. So we're just really, really emphasizing the basics and just going out and handling what we can handle. Since you started practice, what excites you about what you've seen from the, this group so far? Growth, mm -hmm. growth. Like I think it's, you know, the one thing I'm challenging them about, this game is too hard for you to worry about producing, yeah. worry about being consistent. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think they're finally understanding that. And we always put a lot of pressure on ourselves to get hits or strike people out or those types of things. And those are things that at the end of the day we can't control, but we can control how we go about it and how we prepare to go about it. And so that's where we're really striving to get them to go. Well, I heard about the acronym now. Kind of tell us a little bit about that. You know, uh, it seems like the guys really like that motto there. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it's based on the idea of no opportunity wasted. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've, as I, you guys know, I was an assistant here before I'm from the state, um, and we constantly fall victim to what everybody else expects we can or can't do. We, we're not supposed to be the best because we're the farthest team north in the SEC. We don't have the best stadium. And what I've told our guys is what you have is opportunity. Either you relish in the opportunity that you have or you don't. Um, and our ability to go out and play the game the right way should not be impacted by anybody else that's in the dugout, any other stadium that we play in. And so, again, you got kids who have listened to so many things that are negative about why they can't be successful that we're trying to put themselves in the right position so they understand why they can be successful. Well, having a guy like Xavier follow you you here and kind of be, help you maybe portray that message a little bit, having some experience with you, what's that been like? It's been awesome. I mean, you, you got a guy that's gone through some adversity, um, pitched a bunch of different places in the SEC, never really been healthy, but a competitor, um, handles his business, has his degree, getting a master's degree. Um, so he knows what we're about and how I go about and so couldn't ask for a better person to be here with me through this journey. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, yeah. Um, so how have you been able to establish your identity here? Um, just in terms of players and just in terms of like your coaching style as well. You know, I think it's one of those things when you come into a situation like this new, you have what you have to work with. And so as coaches, we have to be able to adapt to what we have. Um, and what we're doing is doing that. And we're changing the mindset. We're getting these guys to understand how we want them to go play. And we have to coach to what it is that they're capable of doing. And so that's what we're doing at this time. And then also, how are you doing that with also keeping in like the old Mizzou tradition as well? I think the old Mizzou tradition is toughness. Right. And so trying to get these guys to understand that that's what this place was built on. It wasn't built on the idea of how you were ranked in perfect game or what people thought of you as a prospect. It was gritty guys that had a chip on their shoulder uh, that took the idea of being the disadvantaged team to the heart and went out and played the best of their ability. And so trying to get these guys to understand that. Um, and I think we're moving in that direction. We haven't fully gotten there, but we're slowly moving in that direction. Well, having some tradition here, like bringing Tim Jamison on your staff, you know, what has that been like to have, have a guy that I know you worked with around here as well? It's awesome mm -hmm. because he was here as an assistant. He was here as a head coach. He grew up in Columbia. His dad coached football here. Mizzou means everything to him. Uh, and so to have somebody that understands how important black and gold is and the traditions and the success that has been here in this program, you know, I'm not trying to create something that's never happened, right? right? We've had big leaguers. We've had regional appearances. We've went to seven consecutive regionals. We've won conference championships. So being able to do some of those things and get us back to where we were, that's the ultimate goal for us. You talking to Trevor, it seemed like the big thing for him was balance. You know, it seems in the past maybe built more off power and stuff like that, but he said very versatile balanced group. Is that kind of what you, you strive to build this offseason? Definitely. We, we need to be able to do everything. You like to be able to, when the wind's blowing out, we want to slug. If the wind's blowing in, it's a tough pitching match matchup. We want to be at a bunt and move runners. So to have the versatility to do different things on offense is key. But at the end of the day, pitching and defense is what wins. What do these next few weeks look like for you? I know obviously things get started uh, February 16th, I guess it is. So what do the next few weeks look like here? Be fundamentally sound. Just really, really get these kids grounded and get them to understand. Doesn't matter what happens between now and then as far as getting to game day. They get so, oh, February 16th. Don't overlook the process of getting us to February 16th. So that's what we're doing now, just one day at a time, putting us in a position that when February 16th comes, we're ready. Mm -hmm. um, and I asked Xavier this, like, what are you hoping Tiger fans know about your team? And just what are you hoping that they get out, especially coming next week to FanFest? I think the biggest thing is that we, we have some kids that are tough-minded, that are gonna play hard, uh, and that are gonna play all 27 outs. Um, and at the end of the day, whatever happens, we were going to do everything that we can do to put ourselves in a position to win, but understanding we can't control whether or not we win or lose, just whether or not we're in a position to win or lose. Appreciate the time. Thank you.